If you want to have an active holiday, immerse yourself in the nature, or just step out of your comfort zone while traveling, in this video I will tell you why you should go spelunking in Vietnam. <laughs> With hundreds of caves have been explored, including the biggest cave in the world, the Sơn Dong Cave, Quang Binh, Vietnam is becoming the caving capital of the world. Here there are two ways to explore the cave. The first one is by visiting some of the public tourist caves, like Phong Nha Cave, Paradise Cave. You just buy the tickets and follow the path to see the well-lit limestone formations. Watch out for the flying selfie sticks. The second way is to take an organized spelunking trip with all the safety equipment to go further and see caves in their natural states that most tourists don't see. I did a couple of spelunking trips with the company named Oxalic Adventures and I love it so much. Here are the reason why. The beautiful landscapes. The trip started with a drive out of the Phong Nha town to Oxalic office which is 70 kilometers away through one of the most spectacular karst regions in the world. The scenery is stunning from the very beginning of the trek with cornfields, limestone mountains, the water buffaloes taking the mud bath. This is where they shot the Hollywood blockbuster, Kong Skull Island. Check it out if you haven't watched it. Crossing the river leads to dense jungle. We climbed and squeezed between the rocks, followed the small trail through the jungle and try to stay away from the poison ivy that could cause rashes and itchy in the next 10 days. Learning the cave formation. In the tourist caves, you can only see formation from a distance in case someone wants to take a piece, bring back home as souvenirs. On this trip, you have a chance to see the formations up close. Some formation that you cannot see in the public caves, such as cave pearls, soda straws, cave popcorns, cave ribbons, helictites, and also learn about how they form. Cave science is very fascinating. You could also see different species living in the darkness of the cave. The thing that makes Pelonkin trip is so special is that you don't share the cave with anyone else. There's no tourists around and there's absolutely no lighting system to light up the cave. You use your own flashlight to see all the beautiful formation in their natural states. The camping. I did a private tour with a small group so we had a chance to stay overnight inside the cave. It's not a big cave but it's really cozy. By the campsite is an exit of the wet cave. It's where the river come out with a waterfall into a perfect swimming pool. It is perfect spot for a campsite. There are a couple of different campsites for different tours. Two days, three days or even four days. Dinner came with an A-cost meal and all good food cooked by the porters. There are some beef stew, grilled chicken, morning glory stir fried with garlic, roasted peanuts, tofu with tomato sauce, fried eggs, eggplants and some vegetable soup, even some french fries. This is truly the feast in the fact that we are in the middle of nowhere and so far away from home. Waking up with this view, listen to all the sounds of the birds, Yep, that's my favorite morning coffee spot. Swimming in the cave. There are dry caves and wet caves, often called river caves, which has a river flow into one end and go out the other end. In the wet caves, you can reach some parts of the cave only by swimming. And I have to tell you, swimming inside the cave is an experience I will never forget. Sometimes you swim along the currents, so you just stay afloat, face up and see the stalactites hanging from the roof. Sometimes you have to push yourself while swimming against the current. There are always safety assistant to make sure you don't swim into the waterfall. Yes, I said, waterfall. And it's inside of the cave. 
is on a big waterfall but you can hear the sound from quite a distance and trust me you don't want to swim into that waterfall step out of your comfort zone spelunking is not a very extreme activity but it's definitely not for everyone you need to be fit for hiking up and down the mountains through the dense jungle with very rocky terrain one wrong footstep could cause disasters the path could become very slippery muddy just after the last night rain <laughs> <laughs> you still need to swim against the strong current. You don't need to be the Olympic swimmer. Basic swimming skills plus confidence in the water is necessary. Sometimes the water inside the cave is pretty cold. You still have to jump to get into the cave. You have to squeeze to get through the small holes connecting two chambers of the caves. Some people even stuck in the holes and has stayed there ever since. I'm just kidding. If you have a severe claustrophobia, this is just not a thing for you. Escape the civilization. You don't need to worry about the next post on Instagram. You spend your time fully immersive into the pure nature. My favorite moment when we all turned off our flashlights and experienced the complete darkness. We didn't even see our hands. But this darkness is how the cave looked like in millions of years. All provided. The good thing is all the equipments provided. Like backpack, helmet, life vests, flashlights, and they're very good quality. They even provide basic canvas hiking boots. This is amazing as you don't need to put your favorite giant North Face hiking boots in your luggage and carry them into Vietnam just to go spelunking here. The potters brings all the camping gear and food and set up tents inside the cave before the group arrived. Let's talk a bit about the potters. All the potters here used to work illegally logging and hunting wild animals. That's what they did for a living. But now, getting a job as potter could bring them more money. They also learn how to protect the nature and the jungle. Everything brought into the jungle is brought out. There are over 300 caves today have been explored in Quang Bin, and it's just only 25% of the regions. There are a couple of local tour operators have exclusive access to many caves. The clear stands out are Oxalis, the cave pioneer organization. They also do the tour to the Sundong Cave, the world's biggest cave and Jungle Boss, whose local guys have discovered many local caves themselves, but are almost fully employed by locals and very professional. Keep in mind that all spelunking trips are closed during the rainy season from mid-September to mid-November. No one wants to have another football team trapped in a cave again. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you're planning for your upcoming trip to Vietnam, you can put this spelunking trip into your itinerary. Thanks for watching and see you in Vietnam.